Hi everyone, it's Friday night. Time for a little wine diary. Time to check out a different wine. Have a little dinner. Do a little chit chat. Got some books to talk to you about. So I'm so glad that you're here. I hope that you stick around and join me. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday everyone. I'm so excited, not just because it's Friday, not because we've had close to 100 degree days this week, but just because that you're here and I just enjoy taking time out of my day to spend with you and I appreciate so much that you take time out of your day to spend with me. So today we're going to do another wine diary and to be honest, I have never had this wine before. I bought the wine because of the label because it reminds me of one of the pictures that my mom had um, with a lady from Paris with their bicycle and the beret and I saw this and I just had to get it. So this is from France. It's a Sauvignon Blanc and it's La Belle Angel or La Belle Angeli. And you get the lady with the bike and her cute little puppy. You know, Nancy loves her puppies. So it is a screw cap. And again, I this was probably around $5.99. It wasn't that it wasn't expensive. I happened to buy it when I was out on my peach wine hunt and I saw this bottle and I said, I gotta do it. So tonight for my dinner, I got some chicken at the local at the uh, meat counter of a local grocery store Coburn's and so it's chicken uh, I got chicken cutlet and I don't know if it's going to show up but it's stuffed with cheddar Monterey Jack cheese and I forgot the other cheese and then wrapped with bacon so I just put this in the oven at 350 for I think it was 20 minutes and I've got a little pieces right here to check it out and a little bit of salad off to the side, just enjoying salads this summer. I think probably because, you know, I just did, you know, the quick food deliveries, fast food deliveries and things like that. So I wouldn't have to go out of the house. I did do grocery store deliveries, but it was like frozen foods and prepared foods. So I'm just looking forward now that I've gone back to the grocery store a few times, just to getting some salads and things, just getting some fresh food fresh food always good right so anyway let's open up this wine get the party started so again la belle angel or la belle angeli and it is a screw cap and though i do have my handy dandy ready and yeah so i hope everybody has had a wonderful week we've had some really high temperatures um we've had like threats of thunderstorms and things like that but and where I've stayed, it just seems to have stayed uh, away from us. I know some areas did get hit hard again with severe weather. So far, we just seem to be missing quite a bit. Probably poured a little bit more than I had to. But it's a nice golden color. Not that you can really see it, but I've got my Nancy's Wine Diary glass from Amazon. Dress from Amazon from Amazon. Rings from Shane. So cheers everyone. Oh, I didn't sniff it first. It smells light and fruity. Citrusy. Maybe some apple. Maybe some pear. So anyway, cheers. Or peach, not pear. I think. Mmm. It's dry, but it's sweet. It's got a really nice aftertaste it's got like that tartness like like the granny smith apples that you bite into it and it's like sour but sweet and crisp and just light and fruity it's like all at once it's like a really nice summer wine I'm gonna have it this is gonna go really good for my chicken so cheers mm. 
nice and I think this was like 11.5% alcohol and again it was maybe $5.99, $6.99 it wasn't that expensive I really didn't know what to expect but I love that label if I can figure out how I'll put a picture someplace of that picture that it reminds me of my mom I'm just going to have a bite of this chicken before it gets too much colder I just did a small bite so I wouldn't be like in your face chewing we're going to dip it in the cheese. Cheers, everyone. Mm. Very good. Mm. I hate chewing in front of you. But it is really good. I don't always go to the meat counter. They have an excellent meat counter at Cole Burns like marinated steaks kebabs that are already made a lot of times they've got prime rib but they've got it like pre-sliced so you only have to buy like a slice which is really good it's already seasoned so you just kind of bake it or put it on the grill real quick get an awesome meat counter there mm. so good but anyway I wanted to talk to you about these books and this was like my first fantasy book and I bought it I think the cover just kind of jumped at me and said buy me buy me and it uh, was the inheritance of Orcada Divina and I probably got it was like kind of slow getting into it and then it was like interesting but then it kind of went back kind of like everyday stuff kind of boring and then BAM it had me this book it's like magical and it's not witchcraft but like fantasy type stuff and it goes back and forth between past present and things like that so it kind of jumps jumps around and different family members and how their lives evolved and things like that but with the part that really got me was when she ran away from home and she joined a carnival and it just reminded me the stories my mom and dad would tell me um, about the carnival that um, his parents owned when he got out of the uh, Navy and uh, he met my mom up in Boston and then they moved down to um, with his parents down in Florida and they had a traveling carnival that they co-owned with um, my great aunt and great uncle and um, you know when I, I'm gonna use the term that they use because you, but it's it sounds really bad but they used to call them like the freak shows that they had and to them you know these people that they called the freaks um, were people that be, were they treated everybody like family they traveled off season together and then they traveled during the spring and summer months and a little bit into the fall and then they would go to like Crystal River Florida for their winter camp and they they just always stayed together they treated each other like family they didn't see these people that you know were like the dwarfs and the midgets and the wicked tall people and you know the hairy people and just all kinds of different people that they had but they just kind of all saw each other as family they all looked out for each other and it just kind of remind, reminded me of that when the, it went into the carnival and some of the characters that were in the carnival and so I mean that just kind of grabbed my attention right there and then like seances at the end and skeletons come into life and it was it really held my interest maybe the last 150 pages of this book I could not put it down I was up probably about to three o'clock in the morning one night finishing it because I just could not put it down once it got to that certain point so it was a fantasy book it was my first one I really really like this one so then I started the Hacienda this week and this is the one that I didn't get I passed up the first time that I saw it off in the book of the month club and then I got it last month and I'm you know well, I'm not that far into it yet I've only read like two nights so far so that's where I am right here but it is it is holding my interest so far it's just getting into the creepy parts and feeling like someone's touching you and noises in the walls and 
shadows and hearing voices and people that won't go into the house and after dark but oh there's nothing wrong with the house and the cook who doesn't go out of the kitchen and she has incense burning all around and it's just yeah i am enjoying this one so far but anyway, I just want to kind of keep that short. And uh, yeah, so happy Friday, everyone. I hope that you are all having a fantastic week. I hope you have great, happy, fun plans for the weekend. I am going to sip on my wine, heat up my dinner again because it probably got cold. And uh, yeah, just, just enjoy it. So cheers, everyone. Thanks so much for stopping in, spending some time with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. I appreciate appreciate you guys so much and I just am so blessed so lucky to have you guys in my life so thank you from the bottom of my heart for joining me if you are new to my channel I hope that you would consider hitting that little red subscribe button over there I would love to have you come back and join us for future videos comments of course are always always welcome I hope you give this video a thumbs up I hope you come back and see me you know just find a quick show you this dress it's kind of like the dress i wore last month it's like sometimes when i find a dress i like it and it's just kind of fun to wear i mean i would probably never wear this out of the house okay maybe i would but and my hat is really red but it comes out orange but it's got that halter style again it's that rockabilly type thing so we got this belt here halter it's red with some polka dots we got the button a little bit of satin and that's i got my petticoat underneath to kind of make it flare out and just have a little fun and of course my shane earrings some shane rings so yeah thanks thanks guys and uh, i hope you guys go out and have a great week thanks again love you guys talk to you soon bye bye